Mission Commander Frank Borman, Command Module Pilot James Lovell, and Lunar Module Pilot Bill Anders would be the first men to travel over one quarter million miles away from their home planet to orbit the moon. The first lunar landing often overshadows the Apollo 8 mission, but at the time it was monumental and it really expanded the bounds of human experience. The astronauts often comment on seeing the Earth from that distance. They've said that they went to the moon, but the most important thing that they discovered was the Earth. Oh my God, look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty? They were orbiting the moon taking as they were supposed to take pictures of potential lunar landing sites looking down at the moon and then they happen to glance out the window and say my heavens there is the earth rising above the moon that's an image we have to take it wasn't planned you got a color film jim hand me a roll of color quick oh man that's great where is it quick it's wonderful to listen to the original audio of the crew when they, they see the earth rise out of the window because you can get a sense of the excitement and the awe that they were feeling at the time. Bill, I got a phrase that's very clear right here. Got it? Yep. We weren't too sure just how much the, the, the photograph would contribute to the flight, but obviously it was one of the major contributors to uh, to that particular flight uh, to the people of the world. 1968 was a very difficult year, perhaps one of the most difficult in the 20th century. The year began with a Tet Offensive, there were multiple assassinations. Apollo 8 came at the very end of this year. The Earthrise became an important symbol of the unity of the Earth and of humankind. It showed that we were just one world. Uh, we were many nations, but one world actually. It's an image, I think, that now three or four generations have grown up with that reminds them of this beautiful place that we better take care of our home planet.